I want to dive into some of the biggest factors for muscle growth. Training volume is one of the biggest things that decides how much muscle you build. So what is training volume? Let's break it down. One of the main components of training volume is how many sets you're doing. Pick whatever segment that you're wanting to focus on. So let's say you pick in, in your mind your glutes, your biceps, your triceps. You can pick whatever segment you want. That's what all this is going to apply to. So how many sets of that body part are you doing per workout and per week? Sets is a product of volume. So we're going to write sets out. So we have sets here. And as a part of sets, we have how many per workout and then how many sets are you doing per week? What goes along with sets? Reps, right? How many reps are you doing? So how many reps are you doing per workout? And how many reps per week? So whatever body segment you decided on, how many reps of your glutes within however many sets you're doing? What does that equate to per week, sets and reps? We're looking at two different ways to analyze it. Both of these matter. This impacts the next variable, frequency. How many times are you doing these things per week? Because if you're hitting your glutes once a week and I'm hitting them twice a week and applying these variables, we're going to have two different outcomes. What is the frequency per week? An easy way to look at volume is how many sets per workout, how many sets per week, how many reps per workout, how many reps per week, and how many times per week are you doing those things? Now, I left out a major thing. What was it? It's that every single one of these variables really equals something else. And that's what's called time under tension. Time under tension. How long is your muscle actually under load for? during the workout and during the week. So let's look at reps. If I do 10 reps and you do 10 reps and my reps take me five seconds, but you're going really, really fast and your reps take you one second or half a second, that means that my entire set may be taking me a minute and a half and your entire set may take you 30 seconds. So I was under load for 10 reps for a minute and a half, you were under load for 10 reps for 30 seconds. We both did 10 reps. We both did 10 sets. Was our time under tension the same? Not even close. My training volume was a lot higher than yours. So time under tension becomes accumulative. It's not only per set, it's also per rep, time under tension. It's also per week, time under tension. So if you're working out your glutes and you're doing fast reps with lower effort and I'm going slower reps, really engaged with my muscles, thinking about my contraction with good technique, I may be seemingly moving slower and maybe seeming, seemingly lifting less weight, but my time under tension is way higher and my muscular output may even be higher due to the extra engagement I'm getting from my motor neurons and the muscle activation during each rep. Not only is my rep quality higher, but my time under tension volume skyrockets over yours because it's per set, per rep, per week. You know, the research is showing that for muscle growth, you know, the recommended amount of sets is around 20 per week. I would call this a kind of a beginner's level um, approach, more advanced people who really are looking at hypertrophy and muscle growth. I recommend 20 sets twice a week. So around 40 to 50 sets of a certain body segment in a week. And within that, no junk reps, no junk sets, high time under tension, relatively high. I'd say between 30 seconds and 90 seconds per set, high quality, good technique, taking yourself to a rep and reserve range 
of maybe you have one or two more left in the tank, maybe three. So near failure, but still good technique. Not to failure, near failure. There's a big difference. That equals high quality volume. And, and this is just a good intro into this. So this, these are things I'm going to dive into more in specific segments that I'm going to start with some courses that I'm going to start. But volume is a big deal. And volume isn't as simple as it seems. 